Hi, I'm Erica from NME, and we're backstage at Lollapalooza with Gracie Abrams. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm good. How has your Lollapalooza been so far? Um, this is the very beginning of it. We just got into town. So last night we had our after show, but I'm just so stoked to be here. I've never oh, been before. You had an after show. How yes. was the after show? How was the energy? I've heard it was lots of good things best. about Chicago fans. So. No, they're the, it's it's like this is one of my favorite cities to play in. Um, having been here a couple times on tour this year, it's like they're just the greatest people. It was the best. Amazing. Yeah. So I wanted to get right into it about your songwriting. I know that you've been writing songs since you were in elementary school, mm -hmm. which is amazing to me. <laughs> um, and I was curious, when it comes to being inspired and what experiences end up in your songwriting, what do you do? Like, what draws you the most when it comes to being inspired? Like, what moments end up on the page when it comes to the songs that you write? I really just am fascinated by human behavior and um, and I feel like I, I hyper focus on details that um, maybe feel very irrelevant to other people and rightfully so, but I, I'm just like a psychotic journaler. Um, so I, I just, I love being able to look back um, on certain times in my life through, through music. It's like this funny documentation process that I sometimes regret, but um, mostly appreciate. I love, it. I appreciate psychotic journaling. Thank you. I dabble in that myself. Do you really? I so you have understand. To. Yeah, it's, I understand. it's a necessity. So speaking of songwriting, you have been on tour with Phoebe Bridgers. You've worked with Aaron Desner. So like huge songwriters, raw, beautiful energy, the same as your writing, in my opinion. Thank you. How do you decide who you want to collab with, who you want to go on the road with? What draws you to a collaborator? I mean, I, I just have so admired both Aaron and Phoebe since I was like, you know, 10 years old. Um, so to be in close proximity to, to them any time ever is like the greatest blessing of my life, you know, to be able to like learn from ma like they're just masters at their craft and, it, and it's um, deeply inspiring. I think like Aaron is is who I've been working with the most the past year. And um, what I appreciate so much about him is that he really leans into like creating a world with the projects that, that we're working on right now. And um, I have gotten super lost in those worlds and, and love what that feels like. So anytime I get anything close to that feeling, it, it is worth spending some time there for sure. I love that, getting lost in worlds. So TikTok, let's talk about it. Sure. Hashtag Gracie Abrams has like 189 million followers and counting right really? now really it views yeah i've got the data sure? 189 million views and counting why i, <laughs> I mean something that's is so something is working but i'm that's curious funny. as yeah. somebody that's also very online yes. do you have a favorite tiktok sound meme do you have a favorite internet thing that you could think about right now that you yeah like share it's yeah. not like it's just so strange because i've never done it but i really 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 have this like strange addiction to watching like chiropractor videos it's so bad I know I know it's weird and it's strange but like something about the crack and the pop yeah makes me feel you know relaxed I, I get that delusional like, of me but you know ASMR yeah it's weird it's like I don't even necessarily find myself being obsessed with ASMR but I like the release yeah you know I like the quote something about the crack <laughs> That's the headline we're going to go with. <laughs> Perfect. And that's the interview. <laughs> so you're performing today. Obviously, yes. you had an after show. What song right now that you've been sharing with fans, performing live, have you had the most fun with? I love playing 21. It's just like I feel so close to everyone in the audience when, when I play that song. Um, last night, we played a new song that's, that's not out yet that like we hadn't ever played it before. And so to have a, that selfishly was just like a nice experience and and made me really hyped on on the album um coming out later so so you know anytime there's anything new but also like the old stuff really yeah. hits so i have to me. ask you yes. what was the new song that you performed it doesn't even have a it doesn't have a name title yet. okay so we're just gonna tease I it i think i'm gonna call it difficult but that might change maybe maybe difficult question mark exactly always with a question mark also. So before you go, I wanted to talk about the fact that you've been using your platform to speak out about abortion rights. And also you had merch that you were using to actually promote and raise funds for, you know, abortion access. I just wanted to ask you a little bit about that. Why have you chose to do that and use your platform that way? And why did you feel like it was important? I mean, it's necessary, right? Um, it's deeply necessary. I think I think what we can all do, regardless of the size of our platforms, is really 
uh, lift the voices of the experts, the doctors, the attorneys, you know, the activists who have been on the front lines for, you know, decades um, working to secure our right to to have control over our own bodies and and I think like the misinformation is is one of the scariest parts right now so I feel like anything that I can do to just lift those voices is is necessary and and we're all capable of that so um it's required it's required thank you so much for your time thank Gracie you. excited thank you for, for your new music thank and you we'll chat with you soon I'm sure yes yes I would love that all thank right you. bye bye